Windows 10 has a variety of tools to help you recover your computer when there's a problem. In this video, I'll explain the different tools so you can better understand your options. I'll discuss System Restore, Reset and Keep Your Files, Reset and Remove Everything, and Go Back. System Restore rolls your system files back to a restore point from a previous date. You can make restore points manually, but Windows will also make them automatically. This will undo changes from Windows updates as well as newly installed software. Your data and documents won't be changed, so it's a good place to start. You could also try a system reset. There are two types of resets, and they're a bit different, so be careful to choose the right one. First, there's a reset while keeping your files. This removes all your installed desktop applications, keeps your data and documents intact, and rebuilds your Windows files. Usually this would be good to try if System Restore didn't fix your issue. You can also try the reset while removing everything. This removes all applications, removes your data and documents, and rebuilds your Windows files. This is a great final troubleshooting step in many cases. Before you try it, ensure you've backed up your important data. Lastly, if you just upgraded to Windows 10 recently, you might be able to go back to your previous version of Windows using Windows 10's Go Back feature. This option will be available if you upgraded within the past 31 days, haven't performed a reset, haven't deleted the backup Windows folder, and haven't created any new local accounts. This gives you the ability to revert to an older version of Windows if you're having problems with Windows 10. I hope this gives you a better understanding of your recovery options in Windows 10. See our other videos to learn more about these tools and how to use them. For more information or help with Windows 10, visit support.toshiba.com.